Hey guys, the last. Hey guys, the last dog miner here, and today we are playing some Terraria. As you can see, it's been a while since we last played. One two hundred fiftieth and two hundredth zombie, um, one hundredth, and then in my inventory, one hundred fiftieth blue slime, and then one hundred fiftieth green slime. I got the 150th green and blue slime while playing this. It's called the Slime Rain. And if you kill enough slimes, you can get the King Slime to spawn in, which gives you a mount. Well, there's a chance of you getting a mount. There's also a chance of you getting a cool grappling hook. Also, I made a Topaz grappling hook, which I need to go update the wiki on. It is not crafted at the Crimson Altar. It is crafted at a normal crafting table. Or an anvil or something. But it's definitely not the Crimson Altar. These things barely even hurt me. Yeah, they do one damage because you have to have at least 8 defense for Slime Rain to even start. And I've got 10 defense. And at least 120 health is what else you have to have. Yeah, they just basically rain from the sky. Um, hold on, guys. I'm emptying out my inventory. Um, oh, hey, 20-minute duration. Increase of all stats. Including movement speed, so this is going to be fun. Probably also attack power. Yep. This is going to be really fun. And also probably regeneration too. Um, okay, I have no clue how a slime got into that level. By the way, I did add more onto my house. Um, I'm gonna make a trophy room because, as you can see, sword and spear statues. But I'm also making a garden up there. The reason I'm doing this in an enclosed area instead of just putting it on my roof like I was going to do is because some of these things need the darkness to grow. I doubt that's the truth. Actually, moon glow might. Um, but other than that, I doubt it. But I'll just trust my instincts on this. Um, brum, 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 brum. I'm trying to, f I'm trying to beat the crap out. Because you have to beat 250 slimes or something like that to get the Slime King. But then once you've beaten the Slime King, it's like 75 slimes that you have to beat the next time. Yes, that means you can do the King Slime over and over again if the whole Slime Rain happens several times in the same day. As long as you've got something like my setup. I've got really good armor. I've got uh, 11 attack damage of a sword. Um... Um, ignore me right now. Oh my gosh, friggin' slimes don't even let me change my inventory up. Okay, let's go. I like getting them trapped on the water because they can't stop moving, so you can just ping pong them against the water and it's just like because they have to keep moving in the same direction. Now, if it's like a really formidable slime, 200th blue slime. So I've delete, I've defeated at least 50 slimes because I got 150 a little bit ago, and then I just got 250, and that's of blue slimes, guys. Think of all the purples and greens and whatnot that I've been killing. I've gotten at least 100 by now. I'm sure of this. Okay. I'm going to ditch some stuff in a chest so that I have some room. Um, no, 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 no. I opened my doors because I wanted to fight them in here. I wanted to let them through so that I could fight them on the other side of my house. But this was a terrible idea. The blood moon is rising. Oh, God. Mm. Zombies can open doors on this night. 
Goddamn dribbler got in my house. This is gonna be annoying. I'll just keep that door open. Oh, I just noticed there's another door on the other side. I should probably barricade that side. Or I can just go all the way up to my second floor, but I want to beat up all the slimes. There is a chance for something to spawn during the blood rain, or the blood moon, and then slime rain has a chance of giving you something. Okay, yeah, I've definitely defeated over a hundred slimes. Oh my gosh, if I had durability on my swords. Oh my gosh, those are giant pink slimes. Nope, those are purple ones in the right lighting. Um, uh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, no dribblers out on this side. There's a few zombies, but other than that. Okay, I'm just gonna beat the shit out of all the zombies. King Slime has awoken. Don't know where he is. Okay, there he is. Um, shit. What? This bitch can teleport through walls? I did not know about this. And he's in my house, so that's gonna be fun. Um, I should probably get to the top floor, because it looks like he can't reach that. Nope, he can reach it, but he can't land on it that I can tell. What, can I not respawn if they're in my house? No, I can. Um. Shit, shit, shit. Fuck. Mm. This is gonna be annoying to do. I was trying to use the wand of sparking because I was hoping it would light it on fire. I've got a gun in the bottom chest. I should probably pick that up. Yeah, in fact, I am going to go do that. Mm -hmm. And drop to the bottom. Okay. Yeah, that thing can go through walls, I think. Oh, it's it's got that shinobi armor because it's part ninja. Yeah, see? Thing just freaking teleported. Gonna have to go around picking up all my stuff after this. Okay, um... Oh, god damn. Should have prepared more. Yep, there we go. Perfect. That'll give me at least a little bit of time. Fortunately, there's a bunch of random crap in my house. Okay. I hope it gives me enough time to... Because I want to defeat that thing, but it despawns after a certain amount of time. And look at how much damage I've done. I've done jack squat. Okay. I definitely need... Okay, I'm definitely going to need better armor and whatnot. I thought the King Slime... Yeah, I've taken down 70 of its health. I dropped 8 silver. I think that's my entire inventory worth of silver and whatnot. We're gonna place... I'm trying to place the banner because I need inventory space. If you guys know how to like speed up the respawn, please tell me because I need to be able to speed up my respawn whenever I need to do such. Yeah. I've been recording for nine minutes now, and I've only gotten his health down that much. Gosh darn it. Um, I'm trying to get to my chest, which has the... I should move that up there in case this ever happens again, because... Oh, hey, Blood Moon's lowering, or some shit. Um, whatever the, the phrase is. Damn it! Mmm! Okay, I need to get it stuck. 
What the heck? Why'd all the stuff just start rushing back? So I was trying to escape the screen. Um, damn it. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, I'm getting out. Because crap is happening and I need to escape for now. Yep, there we go. Um, it should just stay there for a bit. Also, if you guys know any good strategies for killing the King Slime, please tell me. It's freaking, it's got the ninja clothing, so it's able to teleport. Okay, um, um. Nope, that did not work, that did not work, that did not fucking work. Okay, I need to escape and then kill it, somehow. Um, um, ah. I need to get that gun, but friggin', it's hard to do. Just randomly hop away. Just in case it comes back. Nope, it hopped away. If there were some sort of spawn command, I would use it. Because that was friggin' bullshit. I thought that thing was going to be easy with this much defense. Guess I should have guessed. Because um, it is a boss. Actually, the Eye of Cthulhu is set to be the easiest boss, and it seems pretty hard. So I am going to be annoyed by this if this does not work. Um, Yeah, I have Cthulhu I'm also going to need, like, tips on, please, because I don't. So once that thing Fallen Star disappears, I'll know it's morning. I think the, um, the Blood Moon Nights also last longer or some shit. Friggin. To close the door before that dribbler gets in. Why the heck are there so many of these blood zombies? Great, now the dribblers. Okay, I'm gonna go up to the top level so that I can rearrange my inventory. Okay, increases armor penetration, meh. If you put stuff here, it just shows up on your uh, armor and whatnot instead of... Okay, that is much more useful. Okay... Actually, I read about this. The Blood Moon and the Slime. It's a very rare chance of them both happening at the same time. So, I just experienced a rare event. Cool. I don't ever want to experience it again. Yeah, by the way, guys, I got 14 gold coins by, um... By, what's it called? Uh, a... I smashed a bunch of pots, and one of which dropped a, a um, gold portal without me even noticing, so I'm just like, what? Why am I getting all this gold? And then I look up, and I'm like, oh, hey. All my useless shackles I just put in here. Gonna keep the gun on me from now on. Fortunately, it is the a damaged pistol, but it still works. 
I have a hundred shots with it. So I've got to make that count. Um, Alright yeah, guys, I'm just going to break it, then base it off of my previous episodes. Oh my gosh, quick friggin' mm, annoying s <sighs> Okay, so I'm going to go back and check my episodes after this to see how those were placed. Not gonna end the episode just yet. I am going to instead wait a little bit longer. I need to make that friggin' trophy room. Um, but the problem with me making a trophy room is I don't know if there's just so much shit about the king slime. Gonna have to go through the land just breaking all of this. I officially from now on hate slimes. Should have gone to the top of the tree and tried punching it off. But it takes so long to get up there. And here's what I came here for. Close that. This, I'll actually only be using the trophy room for, the only glass will be on the trophy room, because obvious reasons. Which means I'm probably going to need more red brick. Yeah, the friggin' event of slime rain happened while I was building that, so I'm like, eh, might as well go and fight. I'm going to have to check that in the recordings. And then I can check the stuff from this recording via um, the chat. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed. See y'all next time. Bye, I guess. Hope y'all enjoy. See y'all next time. If you can, please give me tips on how to defeat I have Cthulhu, because it's apparently the easiest boss in the game, mini boss, uh, like pre-hard mode boss, yet I don't think I would be able to beat it, and can you give me some tips on how to defeat the King Slime? I think I'm going to set my spawn on top of that tree so that I can just push it off whenever I spawn in the next time Slime Rain happens. Um, hope you all enjoyed, see you all next time, bye.